briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The tragic crash of Pan American World Airways Flight 759 resulted in the demise of all onboard passengers and crew. Among those who perished was Michael H. Haley, whose parents subsequently instituted a federal lawsuit seeking damages for their son's pre-impact fear and their own loss of his love and companionship. The company contested the awarded damages, taking the matter before the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit in 1984. Debating a novelistic legal point, Pan American World Airways posited that Louisiana law did not support compensation for pre-impact mental distress. However, the court contradicted this argument, affirming that the Louisiana Legal Code permits recovery for a decedent's pre-impact fear. Notably, the court's decision was predicated on substantial evidence corroborating that Michael H. Haley indeed experienced anticipatory mental anguish before his demise in the crash. The court agreed with the initial $15,000 award for Haley's pre-crash fear. Nevertheless, they deemed the $350,000 allotted for each parent for loss of love and companionship excessive. Illustrated by past cases, the court mapped out a $200,000 cap for loss of an adult child. The circuit judges, therefore, ordered a retrial focusing on wrongful death damages, unless the parents acquiesce to a remitter reducing the award to the specified maximum. While supporting the jury's discretionary power in awarding damages, the court's decision refines the boundaries of compensation within the Louisiana legal context, particularly concerning the anticipatory fear before fatal accidents and the ensuing loss of love and companionship. The verdict stood as a crucial precedent, providing insight into the jurisprudential application of mental anguish, wrongful death damages, and excessive awards. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.